growing up, I always wanted to know what I was capable of. My grandfather and my dad always said, if you do something, make sure you do it right and make sure you always finish. For me to finish the race, it's going to take everything I have. I'm putting my heart out on that course. from bodybuilding, like my prep being 215 pounds to now 200 pounds, trying to run 100 miles is so different. Yeah. And trying to learn how to like do it. Yeah, like you can be this bodybuilder, you can step on stage, you can win, you can become a pro. And then if you take the time, you can manipulate the entire body to be ready to go and run 100 miles. You have to shift your mind but I think that's the beauty of it because you don't like trap yourself. It's not an option. It's just, a, I want to get to that moment where it's like, I can't imagine doing another 50 and then you do it. preparation and the training, this is where it's going to pay off. This is a long event, and it's going to take a lot of mental fortitude. And that, for me, mentally, was just overwhelming. This is real, like this is far. This is gonna be a long, long race. We traversed through very deep sand and the sand was starting to fill up my shoes. You're running at a good effort, but you're not going anywhere. I was stopping every 10 miles, dumping the sand under my shoes. The sand slowing me down, like if I was using muscles in my legs that I wasn't used to. And in my head, this is where it started to get real. How are you feeling heat-wise, sodium-wise? I'm gonna try and stay away from pushing too many carbs yeah. in the bottles. Stick the whole feet. Keep going. Let's go. I got to the rock and being heavier or just not training on rocks, my legs got destroyed and my feet got destroyed. And that's when I really started getting in my head. You, you feel emotionally of what would happen if something went wrong and the disappointment you would have in yourself. There are times in my life where I grew up and I quit because it was hard, whether that was sports, whether that was like in construction, um, on a job, when I was younger. I was quitting not because I couldn't do it, but because I didn't believe in myself. It's not just one step. It's hundreds of thousands of steps that are gonna get me to that finish line. Every mile, after our 30 miles was a PR. So after 40, PR, 41, PR, 42, PR. I wanted to act as if nothing was wrong, but I was feeling terrible. I was actually tearing up under my sunglasses. Is this, is this all the way on? I was in this dark place where I was just trying to figure out what was going wrong in my head. 
I had no other words to describe that low other than it felt like my back was against the wall and I wasn't going to finish this race. When you experience such a low moment, that's when you have to endure to keep going one foot in front of the other. Almost 50. Um, had one of the lowest moments as I was saying before. When you feel low, the only way to get better is to push through. And just like anything, when there's a low, there's a high. When there's a valley, there's a mountain. Hard moments are what create you to be stronger. And if you give into those weak ones, you don't learn from them and you stay in that low spot. So you keep fighting, no matter if it's an ultra, no matter if it's whatever you're going through, like, just keep fucking going, keep going, keep going. I was trying to hold back tears for no reason. I don't know why I was crying. I was like in a low point. I don't know if you could tell. I could tell, but you look like 10 times better. Yeah. You look great. I feel really good. No sand. No sand. 50 miles in, I couldn't believe the magnitude of coming from such a low spot to feeling on top of the world. Doing this as a family, having friends here, it makes you feel just so thankful and, and so grateful. They're doing all the fueling and, and uh, race strategy and plan. Like, if you want to go far, you must go together. I wouldn't want to do that with anybody else. Sun setting, spirits are high. Did a 12 hour, 50 miles. So we keep this up, 24 hour pace. Into the darkness we go. When it started to get dark, I started to creep back in to that low point. For some reason, I started to get dizzy. We come up on this section of the loop trail and Matt and I looked off the cliff I knew it was probably a 1,500 foot drop. I'm trying to see if you can't even tell that there's nothing down there. Just a black hole. And that really messed with me. It just focused on this little beam of light that can only show you maybe three or four feet in front of you. I got to really think about what rocks I'm stepping on. I got to really focus on not busting up my toes. It's dark, it's cold. How am I going to run another 30 miles right now? Electrolytes and wine and water. Is it something to just, just uh, just keep going back to the electrolyte powers. Yeah, but there's a lot of times where I felt fucking really, really sad. And I um, felt like my back's against the wall. And I just keep fighting. I'm in pain, but pain is just a reminder that you're still fucking alive. I love that. That's why we signed up for this. Not because this is going to be easy, but it's going to be hard. On my wrist, I have a tattoo that I got before the race that says discipline equals freedom. I didn't care how I felt or the pain I was going through other than like you finish what you start. In my head, I was like, job's not finished. 
I saved my dad for the last 10 miles because I know how much I look up to him and what he's done for me. Him teaching me like pick up the shovel and dig the hole and, and do, you only stop when you finish the job. If I wouldn't have the discipline to put one foot in front of the other, to get out of that chair, to move forward in the race when my back was against the wall, I wouldn't have had the freedom to say, I just ran 100 miles. It all starts with that single belief that I am who I say I am and doing the discipline work so you can experience those beautiful free moments. Because we're all capable. You just gotta believe. And you can accomplish anything in life.